Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I am Nonji Malunga for those of you who do not know me. And I've decided to choose this spot because as you can see, the sun is doing the things. But anyway, I thought I should do my intro now because I'll honestly forget to do it then it's awkward. But anyway, I'm here with another weekend vlog. I'm back home in KZN. You know how it goes. Weekend, we need to do things. We need to do activities. Wave three in South Africa is coming through again. So we need to get all our activities out before we indoors again. So basically this week, I am going wine tasting in Highgate with my friends. Um, that's literally what I'm going to do in the next hour. And then um, last week, I went quad biking with my um, family. So I'll also just show you guys snippets of that. I am home for the weekend. So these are activities that I'll be doing around KZN. So let me not waste any more time. Let us get into the video. <laughs> They're even indigenous. So we finally made it. Look how pretty this place is. Gorgeous. Thank it's you, actually Tanya. better than Highgate, don't you think? No, it is way better. And it's so chill because we can chill outside, look at the view, chill reflect. Outside. Wait for your drinks. Yeah. Gin on tap. <laughs> how much is it? 40 Rand. I love it, honestly. <laughs> let me so let me look sad. at the menu. Decent. It's not decent, right? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's quite expensive. No, it's not bad, Kenya, because the average burger is oh, one fifty. You huh. sure in Joburg, not in KZN. How much is a burger supposed to be? Uh, then? Yeah, in Joburg, in KZN, a burger, the average burger is one hundred and eighty to hundred. They even have how do you pronounce this thing again? So this is the menu. It's not that much. I feel like the options are not that much. Uh, any burger, it's <laughs> is this it? Uh, it's a burger, it's oh, then they have starters. Bad. So if you guys want to check out the menu, just pause the screen quickly, please. <laughs> Can do it. Salads. Yeah, but the menu is actually very small. Yeah, there's not much to eat. One thing I love about this place is the bathrooms. Literally see-through. And they're like, don't worry, only the cows can see you. The better, but I feel like they can see me too. So these are what the bathroom looks like. So we are in Cater Ridge. We here for quad biking at higher state okay listen i don't know right now but we're late we're about to hop on i'll explain everything later and all the costings and stuff like that so let's go i'm with my sister and her boyfriend so i'm basically burning right now and holding candles i hate this for myself why do i have to go through this I don't deserve this, do I? So for your safety, you have to have the helmets, obviously. So they give us a hairnet and 
the helmet so safety comes first unfortunately i know drip is forever but apparently safety is for full drip Hey guys, so it has come to my attention that I didn't record an ending for this video. So here I am. I'm just going to quickly wrap up the video. I know it was pretty short, but it'd be like that sometimes. So starting off with Highgate, yes, we didn't get to do the wine um, tasting, but definitely the next time I go to Kizidin, I'm going to try it out because the place is absolutely beautiful and it looks like it would be a great experience. So next time I'm trying that out. Um, next is happy days happy days or happy people i think it's called happy days i'm just gonna put it up here i literally forgot um that place is absolutely breathtaking it's so beautiful guys it's literally situated in the middle of nowhere in the midlands so for sure you're gonna have the views you're gonna see the cows you're gonna see the llamas like um i would definitely recommend going to that place so right next to that um restaurant is blue beer cafe which is also quite um popular so either one of the restaurants definitely a uh, must to go there um so in terms of aesthetics i'll probably give happy days a nine because yeah it's really pretty um then food i actually didn't get time to snap my food um because i was like literally i was so hungry like i i've got everything in life when the food came i'm like i'm entering this food so food is also great it's definitely worth the, the money they are a bit more pricey um but the food is worth it so i'd probably also give the food a nine um then followed by the service service was so bad oh my gosh i'd probably give the service a four because we did arrive um like in the afternoon though that's when it's really um busy and quite packed because a lot of families come for lunch and all of those things so maybe if we had booked before it would have been better so i think also if you're going there you should probably try booking but service was bad like i had to we had to ask for someone to serve us like probably like we asked four different waiters so i'll give the service a four for the four different waiters one for each basically because it deserves a one literally it deserves one um but yeah then moving on to highgate quad biking so that is a great experience and it wasn't even that expensive i'm just going to put the prices up here because i've forgotten so we basically went on the 30, 30 minute trail and i honestly feel that it was enough like i feel like there's not much more that we could have done or we could have seen um i know with these trails they are guided so the one i was um on was guided so maybe if we were allowed to just like drive wherever we wanted i think it would have been better um yeah for an hour but yeah i think 30 30 minutes is usually sufficient and the only negative that i experienced with that place is that we were driving quite slow but i was with there with my sister and her boyfriend and it was their first time so the guide probably was like okay let me take it a bit slow but if you experience just make sure before you begin the ride you're like hey booty can we please just you know do the thing so um yeah the place i'd probably overall i'd give it a seven there are some views i know you guys saw that there are some views there and you go into a forest too so you you kind of experience um different settings so if you're around KZN and you want to try an activity i think definitely i would suggest um high states or high gates i'm so bad at this like i literally forget all these names um but i know within the vicinity too they have a lot of other activities that you can try out so i'll leave the link down below for you guys um if you want to go there or get directions so thank you so much for watching this video i know it was a bit short 
it was very short actually but i'm literally going somewhere in four days so i'm going to be vlogging that so please do expect that video um but yeah please do like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already literally subscribing is free it doesn't cost anything it just requires you to click that button down below that's all i need and yeah i'll basically see you guys soon with another video